All right. Villains, first elimination. All right. I guess I'll actually start on this end with uh, John. You were a first boot before the last few times. Yeah. Do you think that you possibly would be a target again, an easy vote? I'd, li I'd just like to uh, take my time here and have a little speech as, as team captain of this team. Um, so come on, come on down to the front of this room, please. Yeah. I'm, I'm so proud of all of you, and I know that, um, that I won't be disappointed by this outcome, no matter what it will be. And this is the start of a very good season. I think we can make a lot of good things happen here. So yeah, go villains. Yeah. Woo! Uh, inspirational. I wish we got that before the challenge. Yeah, we would have won. <laughs> All right, Jason, you were the last one left in the challenge. How do you feel? Do you feel like that showed you were, uh, you did pretty good then. You got a few people out. Do you think that showed your worth to your tribe? Yeah, I think so. So how do you feel tonight at Tribal? I think I'll at least get past the first round. All right, Jacob, you've been a threat in the past before. How do you feel going into this? Do you feel like being a threat could be a good thing on a tribe full of threats or a bad thing if you end up being singled out? I mean, I think it's like a bit of a mixed bag. Like, it's like a good thing because I can help win challenges, but also like, I don't know, if you want to get out threats early, I guess I'm one of them, so. Casey, I think you're the only one-time player here. Do you feel like being newer in comparison and having less experience could put a target on your back? Possibly, yes. All right. Michael, you're also one of the last people for your team who is doing well. Do you feel like you showed your worth today? Yeah. I mean, we, we should have won the challenge. We, we could have won. We kind of just messed up a lot. Samantha, as the defending, the previous winner, do you feel like there could be a target on your back for that? Definitely could be a target on my back. Um, you know, trying to have fun out here because I don't know. Evan, how was the ride from Arizona? It was, uh, a dude sneezed on my shoulder. It was not fun. <laughs> not the best flight of my life, but, uh, we're here. We're, was it worth it? Yeah, of course. Uh, pulled up just to go to Kid Survivor. Um, it takes the full priority over everything, so, uh, yeah. Nick, as a two-time winner who's been strong in challenges, do you feel like you'd be the biggest threat here? Do you think people would want to keep you to help in challenges or get out, you out early since you're a big threat at the merge? Well, I feel like I have great relationships with all of these people on the tribe. So I feel like kumbaya, the vibes are good. I feel like it'll be all right. Matthew, having found an idol in front of pretty much everyone, do you feel like you could have a first boot target on your back since you have it? What idol? <laughs> <laughs> I don't have anything. Tyler, how do you feel having not found an idol this time first? <laughs> I'm glad the target's not on me, so. All right, who wants to vote first? We'll go one at a time. John, you'll go up. 